Hi guys, this is an English tutorial on how to buy altcoins on the exchange called Cryptopia.co.nz. The very first thing you guys would do is you would go onto the website and you would go to the register button. Since I've already registered, I'm going to log in. Okay, so once I've logged in, guys, um, make sure that don't feel um, don't feel shy about going to have a look what all these different tabs mean. So the first thing that I normally do is I go and have a look at my balances. If the internet's a little bit slow, I apologize. Okay, it's still busy loading. Please be patient. Okay, so you see here I've clicked hide zero balances. If I didn't, you would have all the coins appearing there, okay? So this is what I can see, what I have in my, in my wallets on Cryptopia, okay? So these are the coins that I have on Cryptopia. This is the available quantity of it. Should I wish to deposit Bitcoin, because in order to buy any of the old coins, you need to deposit Bitcoin onto this exchange. You would go deposit Bitcoin by clicking on that button. It will then give you an address which you can copy and paste onto your wallet to send or you can scan it directly from your wallet okay you then send bitcoin to this particular exchange and it's not long and the bitcoin will appear in your wallet in a balance on your account okay so the same thing would apply for dash ethereum uh, litecoin dogecoin Centurion, whatever you want to send to this particular exchange, you can see by clicking on these little buttons next door, it, it creates it for you. So should I wish to move Litecoin out of this exchange onto another, all I do is withdraw, hit the withdraw button, and it will say how much do I want to withdraw, where do I want to withdraw to, and I will click next. And I'd follow the instructions. All right. So to get to buy coins on this exchange, and you can see I already have Bitcoin, we go to the three little lines here and we click exchange. The markets we select is the Bitcoin market. Okay. And let's say for this particular example, I want to buy. Let's see, what should I buy? So you could scroll down here and you could select the coin that you want to buy. Let's say, for example, I want to buy Stratus. Okay, I can either click the hyperlink over there, or I can type in Stratus over here and select it here. Okay, so you can see what it does, guys. This... Um, this gives you the market history, okay? You can get to see the graph, what's happening, the candlesticks. Um, you can see exactly where we're at, and you can change the actual uh, visual of the chart here, okay? So I've decided I want to buy Stratus, and what it does for me, it automatically will tell me how much Bitcoin I have available to buy Stratus with. These are the sell orders, okay? So if I wanted to buy 22 Stratus and I wasn't prepared to wait for it, I would click on that particular uh, price. It inserts here automatically for me 
um, and I could change the amount of stratus I want to buy. So let's say I want to buy two stratus. I click on, I, I change the amount, it's already inserted the price, and I click buy. Okay, normally it gives you a confirm um, order. Let's just have a look and see what's happened. Okay, doesn't look like it has actually bought it. All right, let's go back to the exchange. Okay, um, maybe what it did do, guys, is, it, okay, you see what it did? The, as, the, as I placed the order, the price moved slightly, so it gave me an open order. All right, this was another example that I wanted to show you guys, and you see there it sits. Okay, so the price of Stratus seems to be moving up. Okay, so if I wanted to buy Stratus right now, and I click that particular price, there, I would only be able to get 0.22, all right? This is the total, that's what it would cost me, okay? And what I've actually done in this particular case now, I've placed a buy order, so it's now said, all right, this guy wants to buy two Stratus at that particular price. There's nobody selling it at that price at this particular moment, Okay? One double four nine five zero, and the price that I wanted to pay was one four zero six zero one. So you can see the price has moved, all right, and therefore it would go as a buy order, and would sit there until it is fulfilled. If I wanted to cancel that buy order, I could do that very simply by going down and cancel the order. Okay, now I go back up to the um, to the actual exchange part of it. I find a sell order of somebody that actually has got enough to sell me at that particular price. And let's just select um, this one. Okay, and I put an order for one. And I click buy Stratus. There you go, it's worked it out, and it's given me one Stratus at the best possible price uh, available, okay, from that particular price that I clicked over there. So if I go back to my particular wallet now, I should have one Stratus in my wallet on this crypto. Cryptopia Exchange. All right, guys, that concludes the um, tutorial on how to buy altcoins off the Cryptopia Exchange.